Tim. Hey, it's Stefan, and we're talking. This is the principal's office, and we're talking episode uh, two hundred nine. Two hundred nine. What's the hashtag? These, These are my, my confessions. Confession. I, I think a lot of people thought that Grace was probably in love with Sigga for a while. Not that she really sort of went that route, but I, I always thought that she probably had a good facade going on, and that that's who she probably dug. Yeah, if she was straight. I mean, it's a it's a topic of debate. Did she or didn't she? I think in this episode, she mm -hmm. confesses that she has had a crush, and right. I think if you go back, I mean. You know, there's Degrassi Next Class, and before that, there's a prequel that's like 300 episodes. And right. if you look at some of those prequel episodes, mm -hmm. you know, her best buddy is Zig, and they're yeah. hanging out all the time. I don't ship them. I didn't want them to be a thing, actually. It's like... You got your wish. Well... <laughs> and this is the thing. I love, I love Ricardo. I love Zig, but I think Grace is better than Zig. Oh, okay. And I was kind of like, oh, you're, you're going for him because he's handsome. I, I, she, think, I hate that she doesn't recognize that she's better than that. Yeah, but I think it's more like they've been close friends for a long time and she sees him as someone who accepts her for everything that she is. And, yeah. You know, they met in the rubber room or whatever yeah. and like they understand each other on a deeper level. So, yeah, she probably thinks he, he's cute. But I think the crush is a little deeper than that, which is why she gets so crushed in this episode. Yeah. A lot of people were upset that Grace and... Zoe didn't happen. Right. The funny thing is, I think they're going to get a lot more relationship time as, like, if you put them in a, in a real relationship, it's Degrassi. It's going to end badly at one point, right? <laughs> yes. And so they're actually getting a lot more relationship time as friends. This is my theory, because I think they're meant to be friends. Yeah, you're right. They have a connection, and that connection didn't go away just because the feelings got complicated. True. Like life. Yeah, Elle goes on a pity date with, um, with Boz. I love Boz, man, but you, you've really given him some obstacles in life, I think. He is literally so outwardly honest. He's a pure capitalist. All business dealings with Mr. Mirage should go through me. Boz here, his manager. You know, in this episode, he, he made a deal with Yell, and he's going to call in that yeah. deal, and then he's going to use that as leverage for his other goal. Mm. And she doesn't know that any of that stuff is happening, no. so she's caught up in a scheme, and she's got, obviously, more emotions than he does. Christine played Imogen, who was a big character mm -hmm. who told a lot of jokes from character, and actually, Amir is the same with Boz. Like, all of his, a lot of his lines are jokes that come from character, I, and in the scheme of things, he'll be a similar character I'm to Imogen. really curious to see Amir over the next year or so. I think he's gonna become, in a strange way, a leading man, and I think that he's yeah. just, like, he's a youngin' right now, and you guys give him some great things to say, and he's sometimes really frustrating to watch. You want him to, to <laughs> not say certain things. He's a, he's a fun character to, to give stuff to right now, and like, yeah. And I think most young dudes who are sort of pure capitalists, they ultimately grow out of that because mm -hmm. they learn compassion and empathy, yes. and you know they learn that there's more to the world there's than more pure to, profit. And, absolutely. You know. <laughs> Cute button.